Welcome to another short video looking at the work of contemporary economists and their contribution to current economic thinking. In this session we look at the work of César Hidalgo. This guy is really important in understanding the dynamics of economic growth in knowledge-rich economies. He's currently assistant professor at the MIT Media Lab in the United States and a faculty associate at Harvard and their Center for International Development. Hidalgo has been right at the forefront, right at the cutting edge of research into the economics of networks and complexity and the connections they have with how countries grow and reach high levels of living standards. According to César Hidalgo, it's information that makes the universe interesting. Take any product made by Apple or Samsung, for example. Uh, essentially, all those products are crystallised information. Everything in our economy involves a concoction of physical order and economies are nothing other than just the distributed computers that, that compute that physical order. Hidalgo has created, uh, using the Index of Observatory of Economic Complexity, a fantastic series of maps which show what countries produce and what they export and what they import to each other. Let's take the example of Chile and South Korea. Well, according to his famous maps, Hidalgo shows that Chile is exporting atoms. They have essentially a high dependency on copper. Look at the top left chart here. Over nearly 50% of Chilean exports are linked to copper. Whereas South Korea is a more complex economy and it tends to export back the way in which those atoms are rearranged. In particular, products such as cars, refined petroleum, LCD screens and, and integrated circuits. So Chile has a lower level of economic complexity than does South Korea. Hidalgo has done some really important work on the significance of networks in allowing countries to move to higher levels of sustainable prosperity and in particular to reach a high GNI per capita a high income country status. Networks of people and networks of businesses allow a society to expand rapidly their total computational knowledge. And Hidalgo and his, his fellow academic Ricardo Hausmann find that in open economies with a high level of trust or social capital, that know-how is more widely diffused, more spread across related industries. So, for example, if you know how to make an LCD screen, you're much more likely to use that know-how to make related products in that space. And ultimately, the increased complexity of economies drives living standards. Adam Smith, in the late 18th century, argued that economic growth was essentially the combination of capital and labour. And that's undoubtedly true, we know that. But actually, increasingly now, we think that growth at the cutting edge is about know-how, it's about capabilities as well as the physical input capacity. People have to know something. People have to be able to work together in networks. We need social capital. So Hidalgo's work is important in understanding not just the importance of physical capital, such as machinery and, and technology and infrastructure, but also the importance of human capital, intellectual capital and social capital. All are needed. Please do have a look at the work of Cesar Hidalgo. He's had some great videos recently when his new book about information economics was published. Google Cesar Hidalgo or go to our Tutor to You special page on the work of Cesar Hidalgo.